So what we're going to ask uh, Michaela to do now is just ride around this corner to our upright, uh, four strides down to a little spread. So what we're looking for here is to have a good control of the horse, the line that we ride, the shape of the body, not too much bend, not drifting out, not falling in. Uh, keep the good quality canter around the corner to the jump. That distance is four strides. This is a, a little horse and the fences are low. So the distances may end up a little bit um, shonky for this horse. So we've got a choice there. We can either ride forward and um, press him out for his four strides or we can just keep him a bit together and probably do five. So I think uh, with him being a thoroughbred and sometimes getting a little bit quick, the first time we go down that line, we'll keep him a little bit uh, short and do our five strides. That will be our aim anyway, whether that happens or not is another story. But um, So I'll be looking at Michaela the first time to see how she rides around this corner and then we'll make some corrections from there. Okay, Michaela, you're gonna stay inside that rail. You're gonna jump this fence, give him short and together, five strides down to the spread. Keep your leg against the horse, little bit more canter. And as you come around the corner now, look to your jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Well, the four came up just fine. Our spread at the back was good, but a couple of things there. Have a little trot so I can explain it. Come around the corner, had a little bit too much bend to the right. The horse pushed off his line a little bit. You felt that, didn't you, yeah? And he was a little bit far away from his jump. Because you didn't know if your distance was right or wrong, you couldn't see where you were gonna be. He jumped from an awkward spot, you didn't know, and then you fell forward after the jump. But you rode down there in lovely four strides after it. So we'll stick with our four. But next time you come around this corner, you're gonna keep your outside rein, outside leg, and try to keep him a little straighter in the body, and I want you to count. And look to your place. One, two, three, that looks better. And, oops. One, two, three, four. Yeah, come again. You leaned forward a bit early, yeah, which made the deep spot twice as bad. That's better, keep that flexion to the left a little bit. That's it, one, two, three, four. Stay tall, stay tall. One, two, three, four. All right, because you're having a little bit of trouble there, that's three in a row where you've run close. I'm going to roll this ground line out. Try and keep you away from the jump a little bit. As you come around this corner, just stay a little bit taller and keep your weight in your stirrups. Because he's running, sort of pushing down to the fence and then getting close and not being able to jump out of there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Good girl, was better. Keep that bend, keep that, keep that. Now just stay a little half halt. Stay up, a little half halt. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look, pretty good, but our spot in front of the fence is quite inconsistent, usually either a little bit close or a little bit far away. I want you to come around the corner. Where are you looking at the moment? At the rail? Are you actually looking at the rail? I just want you to just flick your eyes, just try something different. Move your eyes down to the ground. I'll go and stand in the spot. I just want you to look for about two strides as you come around the corner. Just push your, put your eyes here, because that's where I want you to put his front feet and then shift your eyes up and canter down the line, okay? The reason he gets that left lead over this fence is because he comes around the corner pushing like that, yeah? Neck here, shoulder there, so over the fence he does that one. Okay, because it's gone up a bit, it's gonna make it a bit harder. He's probably gonna push you out a little bit more because he gets a bit more excited. And press, sit up, up, one, and look right. Apart from your rail at the end, that's a real shame. It was very good. And look, stay tall, stay tall, stay tall. Now sit up, sit up, wall, two. Good girl. Well done. Now you can see there that that was better. As the fence gets a little higher, it gets a little bit more excited. The stride gets longer, which is why he's having that rail at the back. Because running a little bit close to it. But you did a good job around the corner, well done. Mm -hmm.